It's actually not that bad, especially up here in the terminal, United Terminal. We haven't seen that many passengers. It kind of feels like when I was here yesterday, it was much busier. Now, three, three million people are expected to hit the road in Southern California, but another 400,000 are expected to pass through area uh, airports, that is. We're talking a lot of delays and a lot of cancellations. Take a look. Nationwide, we're talking 400. 4,824 delays and another 600 cancellations. Here at LAX, they're only looking about 13 cancellations. Airlines were bracing for a holiday weekend with crowds at levels not seen since before the pandemic. Many airlines even offering customers free flight changes with no fee difference for those traveling between Friday to Monday the 4th. Yesterday, TSA had screened nearly 2.5 million people. This same day in 2019, it was around 2.2 million. Even with vacationers crowding into airports and onto planes, the total number of people flying has not fully recovered to pre-pandemic levels because of a decline in business and international travel. TSA screened 11% fewer people in June than it did this same time in 2019. Bad weather only exacerbated conditions with thunderstorms back east yesterday for airlines trying to meet demand with the loss of air traffic control and crew shortages, as well as a Delta pilot strike and high fuel costs. Passengers we spoke with today say it's been packed at airports and the last thing you want to do is arrive late. Actually, it was kind of busy, a little bit crowded too, even on the way to get here. So arriving late is not a good idea? <laughs> Definitely not. Or is he going to pay the price? Four hours for me. <laughs> it's just been very hectic because we're flying standby. So flights have been full and we couldn't get on. So we're back, but we're going to get on today. <laughs> Just about anybody that you talk to at the airport has their own story, but they can all agree the crowds have been really busy and you should definitely arrive early. But what I am hearing is that our flight situation here in the United States is much better than what's happening in Europe. We'll talk about that coming up tonight at 6. It's very latest live at LAX. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. All right.